Yo, 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 we back once again with the True Hip Hop Podcast. It's your boy DJ Blaze, and I'm in the building with my cousin TLO. What up, cuz? What up, cousin? We back again for episode 39, man. We moving along with the podcast, man. We love the feedback which y'all been giving us, man. It's cool. You know, but before we get started with this hot content, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel right now. Hit the like button, share, save it, and comment below. But all right, y'all, we about to get into this hip-hop news, man. Yesterday, TLO certified lover boy from Drake came out, you know what I'm saying? And he said, he, what do you have, like 93 million, 153 million streams, you know, this week. So that's passing Kanye's 93 million, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But um, it, it was a lot of conflict with the album. People said they liked it, and then, you know, people like my cousin said it was pure trash to him, you know? Personally, I liked a couple songs, you know? You Only Live Twice and Girls, Girls, Girls. Those are the two songs that I really like. But TLO, man... Tell us why you really didn't feel the certified Lover Boy album by Drake. For one, the album don't make no sense. <laughs> you know, it don't have no sense, man. It don't have no duration. It's just a bunch of sounds and with a bunch of rappers on it. it. It don't even sound like it's not even a Drake album. Like, it's not a Drake album. Like, then you should have just put this out as an LP, bro, for free. And just... just Play yeah, around, man. It's, it's this, too long for an album. Man, hell, man. <laughs> it, it, but there's nothing on the album worth listening to. Yeah. I mean, the two songs that you mentioned are the two songs that um, people probably, other people might like. I, I don't like none of it. You know what I'm saying? I'm I straight mean, getting kept. You got 21 songs, and you like not one. Wow. Not one of them. That's I crazy. Them. I gave them two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. I, I like I like the old Drake, you know what I'm saying. Before he started rapping and singing so much in all the hooks, like three albums ago, like three albums ago, yeah, three albums ago. You know, other than that, he been making this like, like I don't know, like you trying to keep up with Chris Brown for real, like in the video, yeah, <laughs> your music, bro. Because it's like it's just, doing, like poppy. Like, yeah, it's not a, you're not even rapping no more, bro. Where's the like, bangers? Where you yeah. ain't got one banger, dog, that I can just put in my car, dog, and just sub that bitch, bro. Man, you needed to hook up. You know what I'm saying? Ain't not one, one not one banger is on your album, bro. Them songs <laughs> is just songs, bro. Ain't no pump and none of that shit, bro. Yeah, that, that's you know, for real, bro. That's, that's not like yeah, what that's you just, usually do. Yeah, you at least have one dope like that bitch. Like yeah, you got like, yeah, Drake yeah. talking that shit. No, no, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't need none of that, dog. I don't, I don't know. Did you get a chance to hear Kanye West album? Man, I feel about the same as Kanye West album, bro. And so they both, T.O. said they both whacked yeah, to him. Man, that shit know? is not rapping no more, man. Y'all need like, to quit playing and all this anticipation that, for these albums. Right, Y'all and was talking about <laughs> like this shit was going to be that, the shit. Like, man, that's y'all keep that shit, bro. Y'all could have kept that shit. Y'all could have kept that mm-hmm. shit. Now, I don't know why other people feel it. was like, oh, he tripping. Oh, oh. I like you. Yeah, because y'all probably high off all them drugs and all them drinks and shit and influence on that shit. But if you really yeah. talking about the culture, I, I'm a rap. I'm, I'm an artist. Fire is when I'm speaking about the music. I'm talking about, I love your music. I'm, I'm listening to the whole content of your album. I'm listening to the direction, the sound, you know what I'm saying? Your not features, the, how the features fit in the direction of your the albums. Like, your it's beats, all about but the all your beats, beats now. Ain't even, all your beats is trash. Mm-hmm. All the beats on that album is trash, man. man not that Only Live Twice song. Man, man. I don't know. Like, I, don't even like I that. love that beat. I, like I got to give it to that one. I, I got to check who like, that like, was my shit right there. Only Live Twice with Lil Wayne and Rick Ross. And that Girls, Girls with Baby, man. I like man, them two songs. Man. That's it. But I like, um, I like, I like, I like you know, Thug Cry more than I like that song. With yeah. with Rick Ross and Lil Wayne. Let's see, everybody got their opinion <laughs> you feel me? about that music. song. Doper than that song, right you there. Know? And that shit was a couple years ago, about five years ago, six years ago. That shit way more doper. The Devil yeah. in the Blue Dress with Rick Ross and Kanye West is better than his whole fucking album. Damn. Yeah. Well, let us know what y'all think, man. Did y'all like the Certified Lover Boy album by Drake? 
Is it trash to you? You know what I'm saying? Or did you like it? What you giving it, TLO? What? A, B, C, D. Man, they get zeros, bro. A that straight up. He count. giving them a straight up. I'll give them a D plus, man. Man, I'm not getting nothing. <laughs> zeros, bro. They should have just, they should have just released that for free. And, and maybe and, like six, seven songs. Man, hell yeah. And Pick seven have songs a, off of that album. Man, you know, and then that's what he should. He could if twenty one songs, right? I know you can make seven songs out that album decent. I can put them together where it can just be decent. Where like it was so long and like damn, where's the banger? Like you said, it didn't have no. Yeah, that's a Drake song. Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Nice for what? God, no, laugh now, cry later. All this shit. And um, now you get to the album, you don't got none of that no more. Yeah, it's like it's gone. Yeah, you burnt out, man, <laughs> with the true. the beef. The promotion, the antics, him and Kanye West is doing. It was just to sell the fucking album, man. The albums weren't good. Yeah, you already they, knew they, that. Those albums, we already, like we said on other podcasts, Kanye West shit is going to be straight trash. Don't go get that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's what you said. Mm-hmm. Like, and it was, because you know you see, he's doing that bullshit. Yeah, it's too much. Every time they start, and then Drake want to put billboards in every city. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. uh, like it's all publicity. Man, y'all just sold them yeah. albums to all these people just because y'all are Drake and Kanye yeah, West. That's it. That's it, man. You- y'all albums, y'all, your albums was not worth us buying. Yeah. For real, I'm not buying them. I streamed them on YouTube. Oh, yeah, you got to check it out. We got to see what's going on. You feel me? I you know, we got to see. You got to check it out. But, but see, um, I, um, I downloaded it first. I did. I downloaded it first. And then as soon as I got to play it, I, had to, I stopped the download immediately. Like, oh, no, this cannot be saved on the server. No. Because it didn't come on a certain time. Yeah, I'm straight. But we gotta move on, y'all, man. On to other hip hop news, man. Me and TLO is gonna play a game of one gotta go. We got four hot R&B chicks from the '90s, TLO, man. But one of these females have to get kicked off the list in all their music, man. We gonna start off with Mariah Carey, Janet Jackson, Whitney Houston, and Mary J. Blige. Which one gotta go, cuz? <laughs> Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson, Penny. We gotta go, Janet, my wife. And I feel you on that, man, because she only she ain't had no real stand-up style of songs, man. Like you said, man, I get so lonely, and um, that one rhythm nation, and you know, who's who? She got two really dope songs. Yeah. When you think of Janet Jackson, you think about any time in your place. And then for, and I'm gonna go with the vocals. You know, Mariah Carey, Mary J. Blige, and with Newton vocals are killing her vocals. They killing Janet Jackson vocals. Fantastic. You know, like she can't even compete with Mariah, man. If y'all think so, add a versus battle, and Mariah Carey will wash Janet Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I think anybody, I mean, who could Janet really win in the verses, though? For she real. would have to put on a performance and dance. Yeah. And do, and do all, all this other shit. Fire songs, you only got like. Yeah, she ain't got a lot of songs. Overall, you could say 10. Your audio catalog that people would give remember, her 10. You know, maybe. Yeah, I'd give her two for myself. I got two. It was two <laughs> songs, and they wrote both, um, you know, sexual in nature. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So those are the two songs that I think about Janet Jackson. And, she got, um, um, okay, here we go, man. She got, That's the Way Love Goes, Anytime, Any Place, song. I Get So Lonely, Would You Mind? Um, I'll probably take that one off through that anyway. You stand the test of the, um, Her, Her, and um, Q-Tip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You never, you, you never know what you got till it's gone. That's a dope that, song. that can't stand up against no Mary J. Blige. You know? no, she, she got, got 10 songs. Yeah. Like I said, she yeah. got 10 songs. And it's over. It's over. And Mariah got a good 20. Man, Mariah. Whitney Houston, you don't even want to go there with that one. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, mean, I think all of Mariah carried that one with double platinum at least. Man, like five times platinum. All of them. We yeah, all of them. 
Yeah, I understand the emancipation of me, me. Ah, man, you ain't messing with Mariah Carey. She can really sing. Yeah, she can really sing. Yeah, sing. She can really sing. And that's what got kicked her out on uh, in the group, man, on the true hip hop group, man. There was more people that kicked Mariah out. But I'm telling y'all, Mariah will wash Janet Jackson vocally and song wise, man. Swiss Beats Timberland hooked that one up. <laughs> <laughs> man, they know that, man. Stop playing. Yeah, they gotta stop playing with that, <laughs> man. But, um, we both agree Janet Jackson must go. She's gone. Mm-hmm. We're keeping the queen, we're keeping Mariah, and we definitely keeping Whitney Houston. All right, man, on the sports news, man. TLO, man, we just did the fantasy football, man. You know, the NFL is around the corner, man. And who you rolling with? Your early Super Bowl pick right now, man. Who do you think will make it? I'm going to go to Tampa Bay and Kansas City. I got Kansas City. He has Tampa Bay. Tom Brady still play, y'all. Tool number 12 is still out there. Man. I don't like how y'all ranked him, man, putting him at number six, man. That was kind of foul. But um, he's still playing football, so he's still number one until somebody can get that crown. Man. And I don't understand how can you rank somebody higher than just – I just wish <laughs> Like I just, he, he beat, we just got to a fight because they beat had, you up. They had Aaron Rodgers and Patrick Mahomes over him. You know what I'm saying? But he beat both of them his last two games. I don't but, understand. <laughs> make that, 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 that don't even make sense. Like, How you, what kind of math do y'all do? Yeah, I don't know who, who these guys is in the office. Man, he didn't like, go. All he do is win. He did, uh, and all y'all people, all y'all people who love the other ones. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he can't do this. He can't do that. He just keep winning. Yeah. Shout out to Michigan. You know That's what it is out he here. <laughs> win, 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 you know win, win. This is Michigan out here for yeah. life, man. He won that bitch. TB, 12. Yeah. Who else can do that? Except mm-hmm. him. You think he should retire after this year? Man, he gonna play forever. <laughs> They already, man. They, that's his clone out there right now, anyway. Man. You know what I'm saying? I ain't never seen this nigga in weights. Man, Tom uh, Brady <laughs> is in the back of that one car they showed on people. You know that's what I'm that, he's probably the most accurate quarterback ever. Man, in the world. Man. He that's the play. thing because he never really truly had. Said <laughs> Randy Moss that one time had an elite receivers, you know, and he. I mean, you see every time. Every time. It, clutch every, moment, third and 29. He's completing it. Oh, Super Bowl on the line. He driving down the field and winning the trophy. Like, that, he's the epitome of a quarterback. You and know? He, he a leader. Not only is he a quarterback, Tom Brady is the ultimate leader. That's all he has done. And that was shown the way he had those comebacks at Michigan. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Only people from you Michigan knew back in. that Michigan, that Tom Brady was really that great. Man, I knew no, when because he, won that he game. didn't. Um, he didn't get his shine when he got to the NFL. You know, they thought Drew Bledsoe was the guy. Yeah, he had everybody liked Bledsoe though. And um, but that's just how the fortune turned. You know what I'm saying? But it was meant to be. That's yeah, your, that's, that's his destiny. destiny. It was his destiny. Yeah, you can't to go. For a dude to get hurt like that and never get his job back, usually they give you your job back. Yeah, you at least get a game. Yeah, but they, it was over for Drew Bledsoe after that happened. Oh, my God, man, it was over. But they let him get Antonio Brown, man. Oh, yeah, that's his boy. That's his boy. They you was know having they dinner be. together and everything. He was like, I'm going to get you on the team. He told him. And then oh, he man. came to his screen. He's like, I'm getting you back on the team, bro. A. And B. he did. Y'all thought that A.B. was washed up? Or he A.B. is still the great, the best hey, wide receiver but, uh, out there in the game hey, but check right it out, now. Cause... Watch how he do check it out, this, this year. Watch what he do. Everybody who roster Antonio Brown in the NFL fantasy but, in the but, NFL um, league, we winning. We going straight to the But gym. they try to say LeBron is a recruit. Tom Brady is a recruiter on the low. Man, because low, he, low. Because he, he was like, Gronk, I'm going down to Tampa Bay. How all of a sudden this nigga down to Tampa Bay? Yeah. You know what I'm he saying? He took a year off. And then he, he, he took then a year off chilling. He took a year off chilling. Then he had that dinner with Antonio Yo Brown. He was like, I'm going to get you back in the league, bro. Hell Remember? Yeah. So he recruited. He brought all them receivers down there, man. That was kind of dope and slow on the low. Because Belichick thought you was washed up. Man. Yeah. He but he's the one you. that's washed up. Look at him now. <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. And then that's how they trying to do Cam, man. You see how they trying to do Cam? That was foul, man. But he had a dirt 
two years, man. He only threw eight touchdowns and 15 interceptions. Man, he was hurt. Too. He was hurt, though. Yeah. Y'all act like Cam ain't been hurt. That's too many interceptions, bro. No, this, man, he, and he then took the year a lot. Before, he, zero took a lot. he took a lot. He took a lot. He took a lot. Two took, interceptions. He took a lot of punishment. That's what all that running did. That's what all that running did. He was too big to no taking all them. It ain't no excuses. Man. But I'm saying, He's done. so do you think Cam ain't got no? Y'all think Cam don't have no more in him? He he like Cam is just one. a bum. No, like, he got like, one. He got one good run in him in the right situation. So Jameis Winston right now is better than Cam. That's what you telling me? Hell no. Nah. If, if if Cam went to the New Orleans, he's gonna be dope. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. If he's in the right situation, you go to the Jets or the motherfucking Jaguars. Where you you're gonna look like a yeah. bum. Yeah, you can get. See, they making hit. him look like a yeah, bum. Yeah, they had a bum ass like, offensive like, line the last like, two years but too. We'll let you him know where uh, Jameson Winston is and play for the Saints, and he's gonna be cold Hell with yeah. the weapons with uh my man's in the back. Or Cincinnati. You know, you know what like I'm that. saying. Burrow oh, cool, bur- bur- Burrow cool, but yeah, he need a backfield. I mean, he need an offensive line. He need an offensive line. They trying to play Cam like he just like they trying to say. So what you saying? Ryan Fitzpatrick is better than Cam Newton? Nah, <laughs> no. but that's what they trying to. But you know, know they gonna get blackballed as a black quarterback. They ain't gonna. You know how they do these cats at the end of their career as a black quarterback. You know what I'm saying? They doing them the same way. But his stats is bullshit. Oh, the last year, eight touchdowns, 15 interceptions. Man, we was in COVID, man. They was in COVID, man. All types of stuff was going Tom on Brady last year. Tom Brady was in COVID, too. He did yeah. 48 touchdowns. Hell yeah, that's Tom Brady. He, he, it's only one go. Aaron Rodgers threw it's 49 only one touchdowns. But it's both both Patrick those. Mahomes threw 49, 50 touchdowns. But they all had offensive line. Yeah, they all had offensive line, right. too, though, didn't they? All right, Tom Brady us, ain't gonna hit no hey, hits. They not gonna let nobody hit let Tom Brady. Us know, let nobody hit Tom Brady. See what happens. Let us know, man. Do y'all really think Cam Newton still got it? You know, and who's your Super Bowl pick? Comment below. Let us know. But we gotta move on, y'all, to the shout outs, man. I wanna give a big birthday shout out to Beyonce. Happy birthday, baby girl, Queen B. I want to give a big shout out to Dave Jones. I DJ the comedy show last night, man. It was a, bit, a lot of funny cats out there. Brandon Crusan, Dave Jones, Lady J, you know what I'm saying? Little James and Little David, man. Shout out to everybody that was at the Wealthy Theater performing last night, man. TLO, you got any shout outs? Everybody, just stay positive. Keep trying to elevate and motivate. You gotta work.